being an elected member of parliament on ANC, decided that she was going to support the ODM candidate in that by-election. much to her detriment. In fact, it put her in very serious uh, crosshairs with her own party, ANC. But I remember she took me to every single village within Cholera uh, Ward, Madam Speaker, and campaigned with me and with the candidate for ODM, and the results were there for everyone to see. She then, Madam Speaker, ended up again as nominated MCA in the County Assembly of Kakamega, which she served until her untimely demise. I considered uh, the Honorable Godliver a personal friend, because I have worked with her, I have seen her passion in representation of persons living with disabilities and in her representation of uh, the people of Cholera Ward. So on my behalf and on behalf of the party uh, that I serve as SG, I want to take this opportunity to uh, send my sincere heartfelt condolences to the people of Kakamega in general and those of Cholera Ward in particular and the larger Matungu uh, fraternity and also say that may the Lord rest her soul in eternal peace. I thank you, Madam Speaker. Senator Danson Mongatana. Madam Speaker, I also want to join um, Honorable Boni Halwale, uh, Senator uh, for Kakamega, in also registering my condolences for our departed colleague. Madam Speaker, <clears throat> from the description, this is a member who, despite her disability, she was able to win her own seat, which again goes to prove that disability is not an inability. Madam Speaker, I also want to send my condolences to the family and the members, uh, friends who knew her. We wish her well in her journey to the next world. Madam Speaker, may I also take this opportunity to also send my condolences to an icon of Mombasa politics, the Honorable late Mohammed Jahazi, who also left us and was buried on Sunday. Madam Speaker, for those who know Mombasa politics and those of us who grew up there, we remember this Mze as a very active politician. We also want to say Pole to his family and friends and may God rest his soul in the eternal peace. I thank you, Madam Speaker. And Senator Catherine Muyeka Moma. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker, for this opportunity to eulogize Ashiro in this country. Uh, Madam Speaker, allow me to send condolences to the family of God Liver. I knew Godliver when I was at the CIC as a commissioner for the Commission for the Implementation of the Constitution, and we had a workshop at the Lillian Towers when she raised the issue of being on the party list ahead of the senator who had been nominated. And I remember telling her, I went to her and I told her, you must go to court and fight this because the party lists uh, uh, um, requirement is that the person ahead, you, they cannot nominate a person below you and leave you. And she asked me, are you sure they will do anything about it? And I said, please go to court. And she went to court and she actually won the case and she was nominated to this house. Madam Speaker, when she went on to run in Horera and won, I was so impressed because, as you know, the politics of this country, it is violent, it is too competitive, but Godliver was able to go and compete and do well. As Senator Sifuna puts it, we campaigned with her in Matungu and she was fearless. Madam Speaker, all I'm saying is that she is a great example that disability is not inability. And I hope that in memory of Godliver, we will have more persons with disability, particularly women with disability, coming out to participate in the political arena and represent the way she did. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Senator Essie, Esther Anyenda. 